what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where i'm going to be giving you my guide to buy bars in rise of kingdoms man look at this dude buy bars looks like such a badass he's such an underrated looking commander he's got a huge chest you know he's hitting the gym baby he's got that super sick sword just look at the sword man he is here to conquer and the way you can tell he's an absolute legend is because of the size of his shield it's so tiny and that means you know real men don't block we just kill you before you can hit us that's it it is what it is all right i'm actually addicted to diet soda you guys I've had a lot of requests for this video and I think by bars does bring something interesting to the table so I figured it's time that we talk about him he's one of the last epics that I have yet to discuss um, because prior to this I thought that his usage was pretty straightforward um, but you know there's a the couple things here that here and there that you should know about him all right so first off what you should know is how you get them okay if you're a brand new player you get by bars by st starting with arabia but if you didn't you can of course get him from silver keys from gold keys you can get him from the expedition metal store you could buy him sometimes he's the weekly sometimes he shows up here in the refresh chances you can also get him from the arabia event that comes around once in a while right now for me it is the japan event but i do believe there's an arabia event as well and you can get heads of him you literally just exchange for them so boom here's kusunoki for japan but it'll be buy bars for arabia and of course you can convert your universal epic commander sculptures into buy bars now buy bars is a cavalry conquering skill commander and that's interesting slightly uh but really you're going to be focusing on the cavalry and skill trees now if you are pre kvk1 like brand new kingdom brand new accounts and you have to rally a city by bars is probably one of the best commanders in the epic tier to do that but that's only on technicality because you really should never be rallying cities with with epics but you know if for some reason you're in that scenario then go ahead and use by bars but honestly you're really going to be using them for the cavalry and the skill trees and we're going to talk about those talent trees in just a minute but first we got to talk about by bars skills and his skills are interesting okay his primary skill deals massive damage with a damage factor of 750 to enemies in a forward-facing fan-shaped area with a maximum of three targets and reduces their uh, march speed by 30 percent for two seconds when you expertise him that changes to a thousand damage factor per target you can hit up to five of them and it reduces the march speed by 50 percent which is really really good this skill is actually what makes by bars so good because his aoe is crazy right it's nuts it's a thousand damage factor which if you look at somebody like sun tzu who everybody praises for his aoe this is actually better than sun tzu's aoe now technically speaking they're the same damage factor because sun tzu does 800 and then 200 on uh, the next turn but by bars just deals it all in one chunk so you don't have to worry about waiting another turn for them to take additional damage now um i think sun tzu's rage gen is better than the than the slow but sometimes you need that slowdown and we're going to talk about that and that's kind of what makes him a little bit different from somebody like pelagius right so really big aoe damage now one thing that i want to point out and i this is more of a question that i have for the community at large i'm sure one of you guys knows this but a lot of commanders especially like epics for example if you i'm sorry a legendary if you look at esong his damage factor is huge but it's reduced by 15 percent for each additional target whereas people like by bars and sun tzu they don't have that same that same like i guess um clause right uh you don't see that text here so is that also applying here just in the background or you know what what is what is going on there because d depending on how many targets you're hitting by bars might actually be doing more damage than esong which is kind of crazy um so i i would love to know that and honestly in the next update uh lilith is going to be a little bit more transparent with some of the the skill text and i'm very excited for that for reasons like this maybe some hidden mechanics in the background that we're not actually seeing so um i don't know it just it's weird to me that there would be some sort of caveat or clause for legendaries not for epics it is what it is his second skill is increases attack of cavalry units by 20 percent okay arabian knights this is an excellent excellent skill for an epic commander now of course there are epic commanders like ulji who give 30 percent of stats you also have people like Us kusunoki who give you 30 percent of stats um you also have pelagius of course who gives you 30 percent of stats so uh you know it's kind of unfortunate that vibar only gives 20 but it's 20 in one stat and that's attack which means you're going to be dealing a lot of damage with buy bars now it's also worth noting that somebody like minamoto gives you a 20 percent cavalry attack as well now minamoto also gives you some march speed but 
I mean, theoretically, you're going to have the same stats as a Minamoto just without that March speed. So that is very, very interesting. Of course, that also depends on who you pair it with and what your tech is and all that, all that stuff. I'm not saying that they're the same. I'm just saying in terms of the amount of have stats they bring to the table, they're basically the same. Uh, the third skill. Now, before I move on to the third skill, actually, uh, you want this commander. You want to get this first skill to five then bring them to two stars and get this second skill to five and then bring them all the way to four stars. Okay. Um, it's just, that's the way it should be. His first two skills are much better than his last two skills. His third skill is called no escape. It says when attacking cities, normal attacks have a 100% chance to de decrease garrison attack and defense by 7%. That's actually pretty big, right? That's a 14% debuff to the entire garrison. And it's a hundred percent chance. Like that's actually pretty good for an Epic, right? So that's kind of where it comes in. Like he should be the one hitting cities. If you do hit with an Epic, you shouldn't do that. There's virtually no reason to, but if you do, he's that boy. Okay. He's that boy. His fourth skill. Uh, it's worth noting though. You're, you're skipping over this one because you're not going to be hitting cities. So you don't really care about this one. You hope that the rest of the points go in this fourth one, but it's called great Panther. It says upon leaving battle, but not when routed heals a portion of slightly wounded units with a healing factor of 200 and increases March speed by 50% for 10 seconds. That's incredibly important for getting away from enemies that are going to smack you in the open field. Now the healing factor, it's really small, right? It's, it's nothing too crazy. I mean, you could even look at, uh, I don't know, let's say a commander like, uh, Martel, right? You look at Martel's talents. He's got a talent here that does a, a healing factor of even more than that. I think, let me, let me take a look here. Uh, it should be this one. Yeah. His, his healing factor is 300 and that's just on the talent, right? So, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. I don't think the healing is that crazy here. It's worse than a talent, but it is free and you do get it whenever you leave battle, but not when routed. So what that means is uh, not when routed means like you just click and drag into an empty space, right? So if you're, if you click retreat and he's routed towards your home, I don't believe that this pops off, but uh, you can run away by just running out into the open field. You get a huge March speed bonus, which means he's actually really good as a secondary to Belisarius for killing farmers. So we'll talk about that in a minute. We already talked about his expertise. So let's discuss some of the talents and we're going to be looking at our boy Pelagius for the talent builds because they do have the same talent trees. So I have two talent builds for you. And again, I'm showing you Pelagius, but you could do this for Vivars as well. Same trees. Okay. This is the first build. And I think this one is probably my favorite of the two. Um, this one is more for quick battles. So if you're going to be fighting for just a few seconds and then running away or retreating or whatever the case is, or if you're just hitting a farmer and they're not fighting back, this is going to be uh, what you want. So we made our way all the way up to rally and cry. And this is why, okay, this is why it's for quick battles. It's for the first 10 seconds all damage increased by 15%, which is crazy good. That's really, really good. Great for the cab tree. We made our way to undying fury for an additional nine rage for every normal attack. You get disarm, which is okay, but you also get emblazoned shield, which reduces skill damage taken by 12%. Super, super good. You got a lot of great talents in here. You also deal a lot more damage to archer units as well. And then we make our way into the skill tree, obviously grabbing a rejuvenate because you get a lot of extra rage regeneration from that skill. We also grab tactical mastery, heraldic shield to reduce skill damage even even more uh, skill damage taken even more and then we had three points left over I decided to put two for the health and one for the defense but of course you could remove those three and you could pair it or you could put it in equestrian excellence if you want the March speed or um, if you pair by bars with somebody who does a lot of additional skill damage then you could put in latent power and that'll enhance that as well now the other talent build is the full skill tree and I actually like this build as well. Uh, I don't know if it's as consistent, but you do get maximum amounts of rage regeneration. So you make it all the way up to feral nature. You'll get more rage with this talent tree build than the previous one, but you do miss out on that 15% damage buff. It's only for 10 seconds at the, at the beginning of the, of the battle, but that's when you're going to be dealing the most damage anyway, because you'll have a theoretically the most amount of troops. So it's worth noting, um, you could go this route if you wanted maximum, maximum rage regeneration. We still made it over here to undying fury for the extra rage as well. And we did still have enough points to get an blazing shield to, to reduce that skill damage taken. Um, it's worth noting that you could, instead of getting this, you could get disarm, but I just think the consistent skill damage reduction is better than the chance of, uh, 
of attack reduction so it is what it is but that's what i went with uh this is probably a little bit better i think if you tested it this would probably be more consistent uh because this relies on the 10 percent chance of the rage regen it is what it is either of these will work it just depends on who you're pairing it with if you want the rage go here if you want the uh the damage for calves go this way now let's talk about some commander pairings for buy bars now of course we're gonna look at the epic tier first because i think if you guys are really interested in buy bars then you'll be interested in the other epics as well of course you can pair with pelagius he's my favorite epic cavalry commander not to say buy bars isn't good but Pelagius adds a little bit more stats, a little bit more bulkiness with the healing, and his damage factor isn't as good, but it does give you some extra rage. And I think combining the two is really, really great. The the attack buffs are gonna stack, so you get 15 from him, 20 from uh, from by bars. So really good synergy between these two uh pelagius has the rage regeneration that by bars doesn't so the synergy here is great and this is going to be the best uh all epic cavalry march that you could do and i really like that now of course you could also pair him with somebody like uh, belisarius now if you did uh, really quick uh, between pelagius and by bars which is primary which is secondary it really doesn't matter um i guess theoretically if you had by bars primary then you could slow them with his active skill so that way you have a higher probability of hitting them uh with you know with pelagius's active skill on the two turns later that's just if they're running away in certain scenarios it doesn't really matter okay whichever one you have as a higher level is the better option as i suppose but uh technically that would be i guess your option i don't know now you also could pair by bars with belisarius now if this is the case you're gonna want belisarius primary with the full mobility tree and the reason for this is because you're gonna be using this combo to hit those barbs baby and the reason for that is because obviously they're both cav commanders he gives you the attack that you need to really just melt those farmers out in the open fields you also deal a lot of skill damage and you get that extra march speed um when you're running away right so you can slow them with the primary and you can run away with his uh fourth skill and that just makes it really really uh, it's a bit safer right it's a bit safer to run away um with by bars as your secondary to belisarius now his mobility tree is what makes him primary and that's he just runs around the battle battlefield really really fast which is really really great he also gives you a huge march speed buff when you leave battle so there's just a lot of march speed enhancement between the two of these that's a lot of great synergy so if you're going into a big group fight i would say by bars and pelagius if you're going out to just sneak around and kill farmers i would say belisarius with by bars as secondary now technically you could pair by bars with sun tzu uh this is a pairing that you know it, it would be super early game right because sun tzu is so good and there's so many better options for using sun tzu that i don't know if this is like a great pairing but um there is some synergy here right so hear me out you would do by bars primary sun tzu secondary and the reason for that is because you want full calves now i know sun tzu has a little bit of infantry stats here but you have more attack on by bars than you do health on sun tzu as far as troop type goes so if you have to pick a troop type um it, you're gonna get the most bang for your buck by going calves with by bars primary full cav tree with this uh with the skill tree you know uh, rejuvenate whatever uh we showed that earlier the reason that they're synergy though is because they both do crazy good aoe sun tzu has the rage regeneration that by bars doesn't and you're reducing the damage that you take by 10 percent so it adds a little bit of that tankiness that by bars doesn't have right because he only has the attack not the defense or health and you increase by bars skill damage by 20 percent and we already talked about it it's big right it's a big skill damage it's a thousand for every target that you hit it's nuts so there is some synergy here now again you're gonna probably find a better use for sun tzu eventually but you could do it of course you could pair by bars with cao cao he is a legendary that i'm sure you will get from your uh gold key openings over time there is some march speed reduction here as well which gives some really good synergy with the march speed reduction on by bars you're really slowing them down he also gives you a ton of attack right he gives you crazy attack so it's 50 percent attack with the both of them stacked together and he gives some healing rage re raise rage restoration uh, there's a lot to love about this combo i would say uh probably use by bars primary for the only reason for that is because it's easier to get them level 60 right that is it is what it is there's just no you know it 
maybe if you had Tao Tao primary, he would be less likely to be targeted in the open field. So there's that benefit, but you're going to use a lot more experience to get him there. So it's cheaper to have Bybar's primary. And so you could do that. Minamoto naturally, this goes without saying Minamoto is an absolute savage as a cavalry legendary commander, huge single target damage factor. He also brings the 20% attack buff, just like Bybar's. There's a lot to love about this pairing as well. And for the same reason as Tao Tao, I think Bybar's primary is probably better because it's cheaper, but Minamoto primary will get hit slightly less than Bybar's. I mean, Minamoto and, and Tao Tao are still targeted really heavily. Don't get me wrong, but by bars as just being a purple plaque out on the field like he's really going to get targeted for the same reasons as Tao Tao and Minamoto you of course could do a con by bars now the what you would be doing with this is con primary and you would just be firing off those aoe's with um with by bars and you would get the 20 percent attack buff as well so that's a pretty decent combo as well so if you had like a minamoto pelagius and then a con by bars that would be a pretty good combination although i would argue that you should probably do con minamoto but regardless that's still something that you could do if you had to split your marches into two for whatever reason um you also could do saladin primary by bar secondary you would want saladin primary for the support tree and just the overall tankiness that saladin brings the battlefield he also will be slowing them down with that support tree which is really really cool there's a lot to love about saladin 40 percent of stats like absolutely nuts right so you could do that as well any other legendaries beyond that you probably have better pairings than by bars anyway finally i want to talk about ethelflaed right this is an interesting combination and the reason for this is because ethelflaed has the expertise that says deal an extra 20 percent damage to enemies who have been slowed so what does this mean well obviously by bars active skill will slow them guaranteed every single time it does a two second 50 percent march speed slowdown which is great however um the support tree on ethelflaed is going to guarantee that anyway right if you use an active skill they're gonna get slowed no matter who what commander does it or whatever so what and this is a longer duration keep in mind it's actually longer than by bars so this would completely overlap by bars uh slowdown now by bars is slowdown is much more effective than this in terms of like actual percentages so keep that in mind but it doesn't they don't have to be super slowed down just to get that extra damage they just have to be slowed down slightly so um it is what it is i would say if you're going to do this combination you could do either ethel fed primary by bar secondary or <clears throat> by bars primary if you want to do mostly a cab army which would be still really good right because ethel fled doesn't care really what troop type she wants now she does want three types of troops so you would have to do 95 percent cavalry five percent or two and a half percent uh infantry two and a half percent archers or you could break it up however you really want honestly you could do five percent archers five percent infantry ninety percent calves whatever but you want to do it enough so that way you still get this uh this this 20 percent damage bonus obviously you definitely want to do that but you would want the majority calves for by bars primary and what you're going to be doing is huge aoe yeah huge aoe huge debuffing there's a lot to love about this pairing this is especially um interesting if you use this synergy in uh sunset canyon so what do i mean by this well they don't necessarily have to be paired together in sunset canyon in order to do this and in fact it's probably better if they're separate but if you have a by bars primary with somebody secondary doesn't matter who's secondary plagius minamoto whatever um you have them in front of ethel fled and let's say sun Tzu or isong a right uh, if you have them in front what that's going to be doing is it ensures that uh, the active skill on by bars is going to go off and it's going to slow them and then they're already going to be slowed by the time ethel fled's active skill goes off now of course i guess it depends technically on rage timing and which talent build you have on by bars but as long as you can guarantee that by bars goes off with his active skill first that means ethel fled's active skill is going to hit that same march uh with 20 percent extra damage for her aoe which and then of course she's going to apply the uh the support mar uh, march speed slowdown so there's a little combo that you could do there hopefully you guys are understanding the logic here but it can be deceptively good in sunset canyon lost canyon whatever and those are all commanders that are free to play right so that's a really cool combo that you could try out if you guys want to give it a go play around with that guaranteed slowdown for ethel fled uh supporting behind him and i think you could see some pretty cool aoe damage now i don't want 
want to talk about equipment in this video because I'm going to be making a cavalry equipment guide in the future. So yeah, that's just going to apply to all cavalry commanders in general. But for now, just pick the equipment that gives you the most amount of cav stats for by bars, obviously. Anyway, if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. It really does help out the channel a ton. I really do appreciate that. Guys, my my city getting rallied video is coming i have something i'm trying to plan something for that video uh so we'll see if that works out or not but stay tuned it is coming you guys did smash that like button on the previous video you got it to 100 likes in like 24 hours so thank you guys so much for that i wonder if we can do it again here let's see guys press that like button if you're new around here of course subscribe to the channel click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter my discord channel down below and my twitch where i do live stream rise of kingdoms every single week finally there is a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks it's the way that i play the game every single day i absolutely love the program i experience the least amount of crashes than uh, any other way that i play so like i said it's free click the link down below and give it a shot with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace